So I'm in London now, and I was going to go straight to my sister's, but um, I, my train, if I would have got the first train from this bus that I booked um, from London to Hawley, where she is, um, I would have missed. Um, I, I, she had to, she's seeing the older child, the, the older child, um, and she, he's two hours away. So she needs to leave at 10 for her to get back um, to, to see him at 12. It's a 45 minute session. So it sounds crazy that she's traveling two hours to go see him. And then for a 45 minute session that she doesn't look like she enjoys um, only to have another two hours of traveling. And why they've set this up, why they've arranged this, why they think that having a child two hours away from the person that's you know, seeing the child twice a week or whatever, it, it sounds silly, but I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get there before 10 o'clock, hence, um, because of that, the the the, the, the girlfriend or the ex girlfriend, or the ex girlfriend, the ex partner. He, she's actually seeing someone else, by the way. The, the ex partner um, has um, she, she's going to have the, the younger child while Sophie goes off to see the other child. Um, but um, and she's got three kids, so she's good at looking after kids. Um, but yes, uh, I will go afterwards, and and my sister gets back at around three or four, so I'm, I'm I'll go I'll go then. But um. On the coast journey that I was just on, you know, I, I, I was kept having like like lots of thinking actually, of thinking about um thinking about that guy that I met, um, that could have been a Saudi prince. I don't know. I, I felt I, you know, I knew him for one day. I I, I had a massage with him. I, I think the massage might have actually been the day before. So he, I might have had a massage with him and then he invited me to go out and do something the next day or something. It might have been something like that. Um, or it could have actually been in the same day. I, I don't think it was the same day. I think it was the next day. But I know that I left my coat and when I, because I was a little bit hungover in the morning. So when I left, I actually forgot my coat and I had to go back later on that day, or perhaps it was the next day to go and pick pick up the coat. Um, and um, and yeah, but he didn't want to see me that day. I know that. And I'm just kind of like remembering. My memory is really bad, so I was kind of like remembering, trying to remember what um, what actually happened, trying to work out who he actually was. I don't know who he was. I felt like he didn't want to tell me who he was because um, his father was very, very rich and was, I think it was Saudi, I think it was Saudi Arabia. I think he might have been, he could have been a prince, you know, people who have diplomatic status are either politicians or working in the government. And he didn't seem like he had that kind of knowledge. He, he definitely was a child of someone very, very important. Who that was, I, I don't know. So I can't, I didn't ask his name and I was trying not to ask him any questions actually because I felt like he didn't really want to tell me um so I was just trying to enjoy the night that's what I remember from it um I do though remember there being a point where he would tell me that being rich wasn't actually a very good thing because he felt like he was living in type of a prison basically because he said someone you know there's lots of he, his dad is very rich and someone would want to kidnap him um and perhaps like cut off his ear send the ear to the father and say you know give me lots of ransom money and you know because I'm thinking about this because I don't know who Muhammad is, but I do believe in reincarnation. Everyone gets reincarnated, even Muhammad. So Muhammad is going to be somewhere um, because he has a huge respect, a huge amount of respect in the Muslim community, and because the Muslim community, you know, respect elites and you know rich people. I feel like if anyone is going to be Muhammad re reincarnated, it it might be him. But I also feel that I shouldn't say that because because of you know the, the the status of of being very very rich and having someone you know um kidnap you and say this you ain't that person you ain't the muhammad i worship you ain't this you know especially with all the wars that are going on you know if someone was to claim to be this muhammad there's, there's going to be loads of people saying that ain't muhammad you know they're going to believe whatever they want this is just how the world is people are designed to have their free will their free opinion um, and when it comes to a figure that's involved in war uh, it, with a you know religion that thinks that martyrism is is okay and it's fine to kill people if they you know insult Allah and and people not knowing who Allah is but thinking that they do, um, I feel like that is um, it's it's very important not what to um, not to say that much. Um, but um, my dad just stared at me then for a second. Lost your phone. <laughs> no, can you close the door, Nigel? um anyway um i um i i i lost my what i was saying so yeah because of that i i if he is he would see the importance of not saying anything to anyone and i think everyone else would too um but this is how i have to live you know i know that i'm god and i know that no one 
really believes and I know my dad too would would just say oh there's loads of people that say this and, and, you know you're just one of, of many but I've done the research there aren't that many people who start claiming to be God or Christ usually end up going mad and end up ending up in a mental hospital can't cope with this and then they start changing their opinion and I was thinking that AJ Miller you know on the video that I made yesterday um finished it took ages and ages about two hours to render but I made it last night and um and um yeah that they there was talking there was a spiritualist basically i've never really got into spiritualism um i i don't believe that you can like i've seen people talk to um what's it uh, marilyn monroe and and michael jackson and and you know these are, are what i would call spiritualists people who think that they can connect to the spirit realm and and talk to, to spirits and you know, in a way, I don't believe in this, but in the way, you know, I was thinking, well, the other day, I felt like um, the blue guys were saying, we don't mean to hurt you. But the thing is, though, I feel like that sentence is actually something that I've heard a lot of times, and it's always from the same people. And, and so it's, it almost feels like an echo or something. Like, I don't think that I'm actually talking to them. Why? Because these people are alive on Earth right now. So if, if this is part of the spiritual realm, me hearing voices of people that I you know, I, I don't want to hear just imaginary voices that belong to other people. I don't believe in that. I don't think that's, I don't even think that's real or possible. So I'm not a spiritualist because I don't, I don't think that you can, like I've tried Ouija boards and I did connect with something, but it gave me a, it gave me a nosebleed. So, I, but I, it didn't say anything. It didn't tell me anything and it, it gave me a nosebleed. So I, I didn't do that. And, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand the spirit realm and I've, it's not something that I've delved into because I, I don't feel like I'll get answers because I feel like there's so many liars that I can't tell the truth. There's lots. I can't tell the difference between who's lying and who's not lying because people are mixing truth with lies. You know, AJ is, I believe he's telling the truth when it comes to the life, his, his life experiences. But I think he's also very capable of adding things. You know, he wants people to believe him. He wants his story to be real. And, and therefore, I feel like he's created um, some, he's mixed lots of fiction and his beliefs and his, you know, views, and he's mixed it with his truth and his visions and, and the knowledge that the spirit is telling him something, you know, is telling him that he is the Jesus of Nazareth. And then he's reading the Bible thinking, oh, th this Jesus of Nazareth is supposed to be Christ. It's supposed to, you know, he's supposed to come with knowledge and wisdom. And so he's trying to figure out what is this knowledge and wisdom. And, and then he's tried telling people and he realizes that they can't actually disprove him. And therefore he's, he's working on what he can say and what he can't say that can be disproved or unproved. And when it comes to the spirit realm and talking to, uh, talking to Moses or, or, you know, or Abraham or, or I don't know if he's ever tried talking to Adam and Eve. Um, and he might not have bothered going that far. Um, but, um, but yeah, I just, uh, I feel like he can't be disproven and therefore he feels a certain amount of confidence. And I think because he's also gone through lots of trauma by having people not believe him, even though he, he has, is actually saying a lot of truth and is actually remembering real things from his past life. Um, and, you know, it, it would be horrible, you know, if, if you were the reincarnated Jesus, but the Bible has been you know, taken and, and turned and turned you into something different. And, and now the whole world is worshipping you but technically you can't understand what they're actually worshiping because it's they're not worshiping you you know you you'd you yourself if you went through that life and you knew that this there was some sort of spirit there was some sort of ghost so hence the holy spirit of the bible is the truth and you know there's obviously truth in the bible because of this you know people wanting to help you and wanting you to be this christ figure and giving you money to be this christ figure you know you, you would feel confusion you know i am jesus i believe that i'm jesus i've got all these memories but there's other people that are doing this and other people most people are just saying well you're just one of many and then I'm, i don't believe that there are as many maybe i've just not found them i don't, I don't know um but I, I feel like a lot of people are having like beliefs that they are but maybe they're hearing what i'm saying now you know i'm saying right now that there are or they're supposed to be many i just don't know who they are and, and so maybe these people are picking up on something spiritual but what they're picking up on isn't actually something in the spiritual realm, but it's something that I'm saying in my physical world, in my physical realm, I'm saying things, you know, um, that psychologist uh, or spiritualist, should I say, who's both psychologist and spiritualist, because spiritualist, the two things come together. And I think he fairly understood that, but I don't think he can tell the difference between people that are actually contacting the real spirit and people that are just kind of making up spirits by thinking voices, you know, um that thing about me saying um um the spirits telling you that to drink certain health drinks you know that, that actually came from the inspiration of of 
Russell Russell Howard, no, no, Russell Brand, Russell Brand, um, Angel of Insanity, you know, he, he was saying, I'm now filled with the Holy Spirit. And then he started selling a drink and saying that I'm filled with, I can feel the, the spirit in me because I've drunk in this drink and stuff. You know, I mean, I feel like some things that he says actually is, is part of his character as the Angel of Insanity. And some things are true. There are some real conspiracies in there. Some things might, might be true. And, but sometimes he, he just does say like some random stuff and he makes it very interesting that how he does it is very interesting and he thinks he's I think he's got a very good talent at just talking and talking and talking and you know I got that quality in me too so I feel like he can pick up that currently and just talk and talk and talk and but yeah when I start doing that I, I do start jumbling up my words and stuff but he's better at doing it than me but he's been doing it for a much longer time but anyway stop being him stop being him get rid of that energy I I, I feel like I'm connecting with spirits I guess but it's not spirits it's it's energies people have energies and I feel like they all have spirits because they they they're all made in my image they have a spirit I have a spirit I'm trying to understand my spirit I can't understand my spirit because my spirit is like it's like an annoying fly and then it's got all its buddies and now they're all buzzing around me and I'm just like which one's mine which one's just picking up on different energies of other people you know oh, Russell Brown yes yes that's the insanity one go away go away and oh crap it's come back again and and but sometimes it's useful, you know, I, I could use that as an excuse, you know, if the spirit is telling you to drink a certain health drink, then I don't think that's a real spirit. I think that's just you being a bit insane. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I feel like that that is the spiritual realm, these, these energies and different energies representing different things. And, you know, I think the main spirit is, is the Holy Spirit, is my spirit. And it's, it's very, very complicated and it links to other people's spirits and other people's energies. And it can pick up on different traits and pass on different traits. And, and sometimes certain things need to happen. But for that certain thing to happen, lots of other events need to happen. You know, I know Oprah Winfrey has helped lots of people, lots of singers particularly. And, and they feel like they couldn't have done something without this inspiration of other people in the past. And 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 therefore he was talking about like different spirits in the dimensional realm and i, I don't know what that is so it doesn't make any sense to me but I, I i do know that there's importance you know i i i know the um when i was talking about the angel of horror you know you can go as low as you want you know that's that's a different type of low you know that's lower than just being really bad and evil and and a liar or just tricks a trickster basically so there's that type of low but yeah i think there's also other spiritual levels you know buffy charm sabrina these are, are high high levels because i feel like they've influ influenced me and they've really helped me and they're really important um but also there's downsides you know i can't go ping spaghetti bolognese comes out of nowhere so you know it's it's annoying to to think that that's really what i want and it's kind of me but it's not because i don't have the power so that there's good and bad and everything even in the higher levels and the lower levels and the guy was talking about you know lower level if, if a voice is telling you to kill yourself that's that's a lower level spirit i don't think it is do you know i've i've recently over the last year maybe even the last two or three years I, every now and then i have outbursts where i just feel so angry and i just want to scream at the wall and just say i want you to fucking die and i really really mean it and i just feel like the anger dripping out of me and I, I can't control it and i know it's happening more and more and more hence why i would say i'm mentally unstable um and i feel like people are picking up on this you know sophie's the father of leo um had was it was they met in a mental hospital but he got into a mental hospital because he was having irrational um outbursts and, and maybe he was having irrational outbursts because his spirit was connecting with my spirit and and we are destined to be together or travel together or try and recover together and and you know he was having that because he was feeling a part of me yes and my spirit was trying to find a soul that was i guess similar um and feeling like they want to do more but can't do more and it's been stuck and, and you know that is kind of how he was feeling so I, I feel like I have a strong connection with him even though he was you know didn't achieve much but I've, I've lived my whole life and I haven't achieved anything so or I don't feel like I have because I'm not getting any recognition from anything and if I try and get recognition from anyone they'll just you know I'm, I'm still getting the, the odd comment on my on my page where people are just telling me to just give up this just forget about it just move on go and have I, I can understand that the chill out I need the chill out period but the thing is I'm God and I, I if I chill out then you'll never know who God is and I, I can't just chill out and forget about the world and I, I think I need to so I can recover but I also need to know that there's a plan in place and that people are one day going to talk to me and not having that that proof that that's going to happen is it's not very nice um 
but yeah, so I, I, I'm making this video just to kind of express all this and I was thinking about it all and, um, you know, um, who that, that guy was, I, I think, I feel like it's important. Um, I, he, I, he didn't see me after one, this one night that we had, uh, we went to Cafe de Paris, had a few drinks, we had a whole table. We didn't spend very long, but we did have about three drinks. Um, and then we went to a casino and he spent a huge amount of money. Um, and I was like really, really shocked. And, and then, um, he was driving drunk and the police didn't stop him. And, and, and I was thinking, well, how, how did you get your bouncers, your body, your second car to, to get rid of them? And he said he had diplomatic basis, but he told me in a way that he didn't want me to know. Um, so I, I didn't want to ask too many questions when it came to that. Um, and I didn't want to ask him his name in case, in case he didn't want me to know, you know, if people are very, very rich, they don't want people to know who they are because, um, it might they might just like them for their money or something so I, I didn't actually really say that much to him and i asked enough questions when we got back like to want to to know how it how it feels to be super super rich and if to me I, I felt more sad for him than anything um because i felt like he felt he was more in a prison because you know he, anywhere he goes he's in danger and i think his father did care about him or something and he he didn't want anything bad to happen to him so because of all this so he had all this protection but i, I think he was also spending quite a lot of money um well, he bought me an iphone 700 iphone phone even though i didn't ask or expect it or anything so um but yeah, i wonder how many people he's actually done that to though um you know if, if you told this person hey you know the blonde girl that you bought an iphone phone you know, an iphone for you know if he responds by saying oh yeah there was hundreds of them then i i, I don't know what to respond to that but um yeah I, I felt like though i felt like he liked me i felt like we had a good night and I, I i kind of pinched myself the next night that the reason why he didn't want to speak to me when i went to go and get his coat when i went to go and get my coat was because he maybe did like me but didn't want to put me in the same danger that he is in you know if, if you do actually like someone you don't just want to have a, a one night with them or he didn't make he wasn't he wasn't coming on to me in that way i i, I felt it, it wasn't any it wasn't a romance kind of thing it was just you know he wanted company and, and i was company and I, I feel like if he wanted sex from people he could very easily get it because more people would be impressed by the wealth that he had um whereas i like i don't think i was i think i was more curious about you know his how he feels about this and stuff i think i was more I was more looking at the psychology so maybe i scared him with with the, the possibility that i might be more intelligent or whatever um so maybe that was the real reason why he didn't want to see me again because he just thought that i was um i thought or asked too many questions or whatever i, I don't know i don't think i asked too many questions but i might have done because I, I do ask a lot of questions when curious about things um but um yeah I, I i told myself that he didn't want to see me again because um he didn't want to put me in the same risk that he felt that he was living in um but i, I don't really know the, the i don't know um but um i know i didn't use that phone though for another six months i had another phone and i was kind of determined to just stick with what i had and then i realized that it didn't have the, the map on it and and i was getting i kept getting lost and i was like you know i'm going to learn how to use this iphone so i can learn how to use the map you know it was a very long time ago that's that's maps that only were just a new thing on phones at the time but um yes um um yeah i just I, so I, i'm analyzing psychology in this video and um, i was thinking about all these different things and the different levels um are levels of importance for, for me that's what it, what the, the different levels are something is a high level if it's a high of importance and, and sometimes i don't think that something is of high importance until my circumstance changes you know aj miller has been pro promoting stuff and i I never really thought looking at him would be a, of high importance because, well, I'm Christ. I mean, if you want to know who the real Jesus was, he's there. So I feel like he has importance, but I, I, I didn't think he should go first. But now that I've, I, my outbursts of, you know, I wanted you to die, uh, um, that, that seems to be getting incredibly strong. And I, and I think it's going to be very hard to work with people to do, to set up some sort of test to work out who's good and who's bad or who are the worst ones. It's going to be hard to do this if you're working with someone who is going through trigger points where she just gets very, very angry or very, very depressed because of, of going 11 years feeling just hated by and, and uncared or, and unsupported by everyone. Um, but yeah, AJ Miller might therefore have a more important role is in like a part of the, the test before I become famous. Um, and, and 
yeah, the spiritualist was saying that if a if a demon says that you know you're hearing voices or go kill yourself, that's a low level demon or a low level spirit. I, I don't think so. I think they're just hearing like an echo of of something that I might be going through in my uh, mental instability and and anger over people rejecting me and not being able to hear me or not being able to sense that God is, you know, Christ is a female and, and stuff like this. And God is a female. God doesn't like being called the father. Um, but I feel like a lot of people are being taught that God is a father because they're being taught by the spirit to listen to the leaders, the world leaders, to not, you know, not see me of his importance, rather to listen to the world leaders and the world or the leaders that are going to be organizing this test to work out who are the worst ones, you know, I think they they would have a better sense why because they can actually do proper tests and, and go online where you can you know, find out your state of mind and you know you could do all these psychology tests involving me about how you feel about me because I feel like a lot of people reflect things that they're hidden things about themselves they would reflect into others um, and so if they want to just insult me I feel like part of them is actually just taking things that they're doing you know if they want to insult me about how I don't have the truth and I don't know the truth it's actually just them talking about themselves and yeah with AJ I don't know how I would approach it I mean it would be interesting if I told him that I was actually Eve reincarnated or if I was um maybe Lilith like I don't know I, I don't know what his views are on on Adam and Eve um and because I I don't believe his spiritual side his spiritual view the views on things which is that there is a real physical fit wet fit place where these souls are because I think the souls are I think the people in the book are mostly fictional characters um and so but yeah if you someone who believe in Abraham and, and all these all these fictional characters what are the other ones I can't remember the names um twins were there twins Jacob and Rebecca how many of these names can I remember Probably not, but I can't remember names. I have a difficulty when it comes to remembering names. Issa? Uh, I don't know, but I don't think, I think they're all fictional characters. Um, but if he wants to say something different, it could be part of the test, the initial test before I rise. Um, and if people are have been prophesying about these fictional characters, you know, they might not want to believe that my telling, you know, my telling that they're all fictional, they might rather turn to him and, and, and seek seek that I'm seeing a picture of him on the corner if I'm saying turn to him as in pointing at the picture um but yeah